photographs and so forth to show it to them. Is there always a danger when you're doing something like this to glance over there and see like their eyes glaze over? You try not to make it too technical. You take difficult concepts and you break them down, repeat them, show it to them. Hopefully we did that. Do you think you got through the jury with this today? You know, I think I think we did. I, I know there was um, some information that they got that was, I think, particularly important. I believe they heard it. What about next week? Where do you go next week with witnesses? Where are you going to take the jury next week? Next week starts with crime lab, recovery of evidence from the scene. We're going to be discussing some of that evidence, showing it to the jury, and then ending with the origin of policy. How do you feel right now, the way, way this is going, looking at the jurors, looking at the evidence, and where you are? How do you feel right now? We're on schedule. We're on we're where we want it to be. We're doing what we need to do. During the first couple of weeks, you really just painted a picture with a lot of personal reactions. I got shaken out of my bed. I came out of the house. Oh my God, I saw what I saw. It seems like this week you start walking more and more into, okay, this is more than just shock and awe. We've got some specific things here, scientifically and investigatively, that are going to, so you point this jury in direction and say, jurors, you're going to be able to come to your own conclusion. We're taking the science. We're taking the... Uh, arson or fire investigation and now moved you towards the actual criminal investigation and then of course uh, it would appear and I, I mean I know you can't comment on Mark Leonard but I know in the last couple days maybe out of professional interest that he's like starting to pay a little bit more attention he's becoming more animated and it seems like you're starting to paint more of the personalities whether it's Montserrat Leonard or anybody else that was actually involved there that day that's probably true I mean I don't I don't pay any attention to Mark Leonard that's not my focus. My focus is presenting this case to the jury. What but of do you course, think? But, I'm sorry, Rich, but of course in doing that, you know, you're opening it up for the jurors to start thinking about who is this person sitting in front of me or these other names I'm hearing. I'm really interested in hearing some of these people that I keep hearing their names. Right, and that's where we're moving, that's where we're moving towards. When, when do you expect Maserati Shirley will take the witness stand and what will she be able to do for your case? As to when, we need to conclude the origin and cause first, which I think we'll do next week. Then we'll move to the criminal investigation and she's part of that. So whether she's the end of next week or the first, right now we have a transportation order filed up in court for uh, a week from Monday. So whether that holds or not, we'll see. You will spend a whole week on origin and cause? Well, not just origin and cause, we'll finish origin and cause, and then we'll open up the actual criminal investigation, explaining the lead detective's role. Denise, uh, the defense seems to me is, is trying to make this the trial of Montserrat Shirley by proxy. What, what effect do you think that's going to have on the jury when she actually takes the stand? Well, that'll be up to the jurors to decide. Uh, obviously, uh, the defense has to assess you know, how they want to present the case and we, we present our own case. I don't worry about what the defense is doing. I focus on what I need to do. They've been really, really aggressive about uh, some of the evidence you've tried to enter, specifically the, the exemplar cylinder and things like that. Uh, I mean, do you see that having any major effect on your ability to prosecute this case? Uh, no, um, that evidence has been seen by the jury. The jury can evaluate it. All right. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you.